you had a segment, um, I think it was yesterday or uh, the day before, where um, you, you asked who's going to be this year's Bengals. And I commented that the NFL was rigged, and you said that was a strong accusation. Okay, okay, so okay. Just, okay. Right, 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 right. Yes, yes, so yes, yes. I just want to throw out, and I, I just want to throw out why I think the Raiders are going to go this year. Other than the Raiders, the, the Raiders. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, t- tell me. All right, so, um, so the Raiders. Number one, they actually have a wide receiver, and they, you know, they have a wide receiver. They they went last year. They were ten. They had ten wins, and they went with Hunter Renfro. Okay. Number two, they actually have kind of a good defense. You know, they got Chandler Jones. They added a linebacker. They added a couple other people. So I think that their defense is a little better. And um, I totally three, forgot that they went to the playoffs last year and had 10 wins. That's true. Yes, they had 10 yeah. wins. They were just like us. And um, number three, I said that the NFL was rigged because Dwight Smith, he went on a radio show. He had a pick six. I think he was a safety or a cornerback. He had a pick six in the 2002 Super Bowl where the Buccaneers beat the Raiders. He said that they didn't – the Raiders, because um, I think that's when they got rid of Gruden. Gruden went to the Bucks and they didn't change nothing at all. And he said that it's all about money and it's all about um, popularity. And if you think about that, look at George Kittle and Alfredo Gutierrez. Gutierrez, he was just the hyper upper guy. You know, there's still clips of him all over YouTube hyping up the crowd, you know, but he never played. And George Kittle, he's good. But – um you know, he's on the cards. He's are not on the cards. He's on the tickets, you know, and he's always in the media. You know, it's it, it's it's about money. And at the end of the day, I'm not saying that it's rigged like those teams actually have to be good, but they get help. And Vegas legalized two years ago. Vegas legalized sports betting. So an owner can bet on their own team to win. They legalized it. So I think that's kind of fishy if an owner or a head coach can bet on a team to go. And if you look at it. Two years ago, the Bucks. my cousin called it. My cousin, he calls everything. At the beginning of the year, he always calls who's going to win in football, basketball, and everything. And uh, he called the Bucks because the Bucks are the home team, you know. The Bucks are the home team two years ago, and last year was the Rams. Who's the home team this year? The Raiders. <laughs> the Raiders. My cousin knows everything. My Your cousin. Pred- my does, cousin. Does he put money on it? Um, I don't know if he bets. He's not really a better. Okay, so he just happens this, to know. He's all right, this, I feel you. But all right, and also that's a heavy um, burden to just know all that. But I feel you. And uh, if you remember from 2001 to 2007, the Patriots they won three Super Bowls. They won 2001 against the Rams, 2003 against the Eagles, 2004. Your cousin called all Panthers. those. I I heard your cousin called those. <laughs> And um, in 2007, when they had the 16 and 0 season, do you remember the NFL did an investigation? They did an investigation all the way back then. Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin came out, and there's multiple coaches. Mike Tomlin, uh, when they lost, I think it was a playoff game in 2015 when they lost to the Patriots. Um, he said that the whole first half, um, there they couldn't get to play like in their mic. You know how you said uh, Fred Warner took a step back maybe because. Uh, uh, what was his name? Salah was uh, using the mic um, to talk to him. So um, the Mike, Mike Tomlin after the game was pissed. He said that the whole first half during a playoff game that they couldn't get no calls because I know you're rolling your eyes. I know, cons- you know, conspiracies and stuff, but I just want to go down the rabbit hole. of You are so far down the rabbit hole right now, man. I, I can't bring you back to real life. You're, you're, you're going. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. I'm not saying the NFL, like, they don't help a team go. Like, the team actually has to be good. You know, like, they actually have to be good. I'm not saying, Second like, Mike, I'm going to say this. If the Raiders win the Super Bowl this year, I will I will personally apologize to you, all right? Okay, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying. Your cousin called it. The team, the team has to be good, but I'm just saying they get the calls when they get to the playoffs. Look at, look, good prime, prime example. Look at the 2013 NFC Championship versus the Seahawks. Kaepernick was messing up. He fumbled. You know, he was fumbling, throwing interceptions. He threw that lob to the right side of Crabtree when there was three people there. Richard Sherman tipped it. Malcolm Smith intercepted it. it was, there's mistakes that are going to happen. But if you look at the calls, I, um, the punter, the roughing the, the roughing the punter, there was all kinds of missed calls. The Bowman, remember when Bowman, when he ripped the ball out and they said it was unreviewable, then they had to make the whole reviewable 
thing. Who else? Oh, and look, I was watching also the 40, uh, I was watching uh, America's game and uh, Bill Parcell when the 49ers, when the 49ers uh, beat the Giants, I think it was an NFC championship game. Bill Parcell. Sacramento Mike, I don't care. I'm so sorry. I really don't care. I appreciate you, man. But like the, the, the NBA is rigged, the NFL is rigged, the refs, the, 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 I, I don't, I hate that conversation. There's no proof. You have eight things of evidence. You're going to tell them all to me. One from 2013, one from 1997. I respect you, man. You did your homework. You're very passionate. I love you. But don't make me sit through this. I disagree. You Okay, you, I know, but that's what I'm saying. This is America. It, man. But this is America. We can agree to disagree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's agree to disagree. This is the right thing. I can't. I'm hour 45 in, and I just lost it. But I respect you. If you would hit me with this an hour ago, I probably would listen to the whole thing. But all right, just, all right. I, I've lost it. Okay, okay. I'm going to end it. I'm going to end it here <laughs> after. I'm Andy here. All right. I just wanted to throw some points in, you know, just my personal opinion. And I'm not saying that the NFL helps. Like, I'm not saying that it's rigged from week one. I'm saying that they, when they get to the playoffs, they get some of the calls. The Packers and the Bucks last year. All right, you know. Sacramento Mike. Thank All right, you for wait, wait, that. wait. I have a question. I have a question. All right, I have a question. Who's winning today? Warriors, Celtics. Who's winning? And where you, you tell me, watch? man. Who's your cousin picking? <laughs> Don't throw flame on my cousin's name. <laughs> he just happens to know. No, who 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 are the refs going to make sure wins this game tonight? Um, they're probably going to have Boston that's win a this good one. Call. No? Hey, where's know. Boton? Where's Boton been? I haven't seen him in he's a while. He's in the, he's in Eastern Europe somewhere doing his thing. I don't know. He, he uh, got, I, have, I haven't heard from him in a while. I'll hit him uh, up. Okay. I gotta go. Good All call, right. Sacramento Mike. Keep hey, holding it down for Sacramento. Have a good day. Have a good day. You too, man. Shout out Later. your dad. That's the best show. You and your dad, the Cone Zone. Thanks, man. Peace.